cheeky five marker. Let's do some logs in it. So y equals six power of one minus x meets y equals three times four to the power of x. X is log a over log b, find a and b in it. Nice and easy, Mike. So meeting is simultaneous equation. You just equate the two equations. Now, usually what I tell students to do is if they don't tell you the answer, usually they do do this in exams though, is you take log base of something that would just cancel out one of these. So I would have done log base six because log base six would just get rid of this and you need to use less log rules. But here they're just using log, which is log base 10. So you're just gonna do what the examiners want us to do. We're gonna get log of this, but at the same time, this power we can bring down. So we're gonna get one minus x, log six is, here we're gonna get log of all of this. Now if you have log of all of this, the multiplication means we can rewrite it as plus in it, or addition. So we're gonna get log three plus log of four to the power of x. And that x can come down. So I'm doing a couple of log rules at the same time. Okay, log six is a number. So now we're gonna expand the brackets. So you've got one times log six is log six minus x log six is log three plus x log four. Okay, now let's bring the logs together. That, I'm gonna move here. Log three is gonna come here. So I'm gonna get log six minus log three equals, moving that over, uh, x log six plus x log four. Um, and then we're just gonna use our log rules again. Let's use another pen, mate. Uh, factorizing out an x. When you factorize out x, it's gonna be cheeky here. I'm just gonna cross that out and pretend I have. You're gonna get plus there, innit? So you're going to multiply these numbers. You're gonna get log of 24 is here. The minus means you're gonna divide them. You're gonna get six divided by three which according to my calculations is two. So there you go. X is log two divided by log 24, Mike. Nice one.